all right so you've already seen the unboxing and the detailed review of the 70mi m200 the world's first budget dash cam to get a star vis 2 sensor i was quite impressed with the camera when 70mi initially released it and since then i have been using this camera continuously from the past three months so this is the first three month usage review of the 70mi m200 where i'll show you why this camera really works in your favor you're watching travel tech let's get started So here's the first sample which I want to show you of the 70mm M200. This is during bright sunlit daytime conditions and the car in front was passing my car at a distance of about 5 to 10 feet in this particular snapshot. If we take a look at its number plate, a decent read. I'll agree with you if you say this is not crystal clear. Yes, it's not. It's a bit blurred out, but you can more or less make out entire number plate. You can make out each letter and the number within this particular image. Now do note that 1080p camera is not just limited to the 70mm M200, any 1080p camera, its working range is very good up to 5 feet. More than 5 feet, the blurriness will tend to set in and the farther you go, the more blurred the image gets. So Full HD cameras are only good at a very close range as indicated by this image. If we move on to the night sample, now this is a very specific snapshot I've taken to show you the power of Starvis 2 within this full HD camera. Now the car in front, the Hyundai Creta, is directly under the glare of my headlights. The entire beam of my headlight is directed towards the car and it's falling on the number plate. Any other dash cam, this would have been a complete whitewash. But in case of the M200, if we zoom in, you get to read each letter and number. The Starvis 2 sensor clearly showing its advantage within this dash cam. Now the letters do look a bit jagged and there is a sort of a disconnect between the lines of those letters. That's because of the lesser resolution. What I mean to say is Starvis 2 works best with higher resolution such as 4K. It will work good in 1080p resolution. But the important point to note is that you're getting this Starvis 2 sensor under the 5000 price bracket and you really cannot complain anything against this image considering that this single image clearly shows you why you should be buying the 70mm M200 under the 5000 price bracket. Moving on to the overall video quality of the M200, you can see that it gives a decent field of view, a wide field of view in front of the car. Also, the video quality in terms of saturation, brightness and contrast is more or less balanced. The sharpness levels do seem to be a tad bit higher than normal as you can see i have given out the specifications of the video that it's a 1080p resolution and it's about 30 frames per second video with a 12,000 kbps of bitrate and a 100 mb per minute of file size which this dash cam records now this is more than sufficient for a 5000 dash camera and for that particular price point this is truly impressive moving on to the night footage of this dash cam a decent video quality the sharpness levels are a bit here and there but in terms of saturation, in terms of contrast, the dash cam is doing its job pretty well. So as said previously, for the price point of 5000, you really cannot be complaining against this camera. It gives you more bang for buck than any other full HD camera under that price bracket. So it's a huge thumbs up for 70mm 200 from my side, considering its price point and for the fact that it is the world's first and the only camera till date to have a Starvis 2 sensor under that price bracket. So here's a parking monitoring video which I just shot with M200. So this was in time lapse mode and I had parked my car at a certain point. So when you leave your car in a time lapse mode, this is the kind of video footage which the dash cam shoots. You can pause this video later on at any time to see any area of your particular concern. But the overall video quality of the time lapse footage also does seem decent. So I think the time lapse video within the parking mode runs at about one frame per second. So that should give you a long length of video along with saving you a lot of battery power so that you can turn on the car the next morning easily without any hassle. Now this was the time lapse during daytime. If we fast forward the video towards the night time. So this is the kind of quality a Starvis 2 powered dash cam under the time lapse mode gives you in parking monitoring. Again, a very decent footage. You really can't be expecting anything more from a camera under the price bracket of 5000. Now this is sufficient to monitor the car right in front of the camera. Of course, this is single channel, so you don't get a dual channel or a rear camera. But for the price you're paying for this camera is more than enough 
for the video quality it provides either during normal recording or the time lapse recording which you are seeing right now. So if you are in the market looking for that perfect budget dash cam and you cannot extend your budget beyond the 5000 price bracket, the 70mm M200 is the one which should be on top of your list. So many of you are already asking me and may get this question in your mind that if the newly released Next Digitron Ace 2 is a better choice over the M200 or should you buy the M200 over the Next Digitron Ace 2. I would say asking which of these cameras is better is not the correct question. Asking yourself what is your requirement is the correct question. So if your top priority is getting a very good quality video especially at night and being able to catch number plates even under the glare of headlights, the M200 should be the one which you should blindly go with. But if you feel you want a display on your dash cam, if you feel you will use the GPS in the dash cam which the M200 clearly lacks, the next Registron Ace 2 will be the most suitable one to you. Now some of you may say I want both. Well if you want both, you probably need to extend your budget beyond the 10,000 price bracket where you will find both. But at the price of 5,000, you will have to compromise on one or the other aspect. If you go with the M200, you will lose out on the mini display and the GPS which the Ace 2 provides. But if you go with the Ace 2, you will miss out on the Starvis 2. So that is a choice which you have to make based on what's your requirement and what's your priority. Well, I really feel the next Registron Ace 2 is also a very good value for money dash cam and I think it's a value for money champion considering all the features that it comes with. The M200 clearly getting a star with 2 sensor is a big big advantage in its favor and it has its own advantages. So finally saying if this video has helped you out in making that right purchase decision, do go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and smash that like button. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also guys don't forget to like my Facebook and the Instagram page, the links you'll find them in the description. Also if you are interested in purchasing any of these dash cams, either the M200 or the next Registron Ace 2, you'll find the links to purchase them in the description as well. You can also take a look at the detailed video reviews which I have posted of the M200, I'll leave the links to those as well. So even after watching this video, if you have any more doubts or queries, you can always write that down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.